So, uh, hello, bienvenue, hello, Ashutosh. We are on the 19th of May, 2023. This is our kickstart meeting, our first meeting for the GSOC project about how to start with Jenkins thanks to Docker-based examples. Um, so, we will just try to get um, to know each other a little better. It's just, just the first meeting and we'll see how we can plan for the next ones and the work we can do all together uh, by the next meeting. So, Hashutosh, how are you feeling uh, today and how are you feeling about this project? I'm feeling uh, quite good and uh, I felt a little bit behind than other uh, participants in yesterday's meeting. Yeah. yeah, of course, uh, but we started late. That's okay. You had your exams. Um, Beviento was not available. Uh, Said was on vacation. So that's perfectly normal. Uh, you don't have to stress about that. Uh, we still have plenty Same of time. Thing. Yeah, that will be okay. Uh, so that's, I think that's it. But I do understand uh, <laughs> your feeling now. Um, Beviento. Would you have anything to add uh, as a beginning? No problem. Okay, uh, thank you. So I'm sharing my screen. Uh, there is not much uh, for the time being. It's just um, meeting notes. So whenever we have to take action or if there are open action items, uh we should put it into that document so that next meeting we know what we should have done what we will have done and what is left to do uh, do you both of you do you have access to this document i shared it via google docs but i don't know if you received an email or something about that document i got the email okay so Bevianto, I don't know if you have it or not. I'll put it in the chat just in case. And if you don't have access to it, don't hesitate to ask me for the link. Okay. So, Ashutosh, uh, I think you have started your PR about your bio. Am I right? Yes, I have. Uh, uh merged it they have merged it my bios on it's already merged yes oh cool i even didn't take the time to review it so my bad uh would you be kind enough to share the link via the chat and to share your screen if you don't mind so we can see how it looks like wait a second yeah no problem I shared a link on chat. Yes, thank you. Uh, by the way, do you have an account on Jenkins.io? Yes, I do. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so let's have a look at how it looks on Jenkins.io live. Okay, so as you haven't written anything yet, uh, it has to be found another way. So, come on.
so I I can see that. Really? Yeah. Hello, Said. Hey. See. Yeah, this is the link. Cool. So this did work. <laughs> cool. Thank you. So don't hesitate to write notes in the document if you still have the link. Uh, so that would make that all together. Okay. And the PR one there. Nice. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the next uh, work you have to do, Ashutosh, is to write uh, to, or to modify the document about uh, the project, which is... Yes, I, uh, I have uh, already created uh, the content I have to write in that. Uh, I just needed the office hours link for our weekly meeting. Oh, the weekly meeting for office hours. Not the you know, uh, G-Shock one. Go ahead. Uh, the the G-Shock one. one. Okay, let me check. Uh, while I'm searching for that, you could maybe share your screen and show us what you have already written, if you don't mind. So let me check next week. Uh, G-Shock office hours. There we go. I'm not getting the option for screen sharing. Really? Okay, let me check. That may be my fault. Uh, could you please retry? Yes, I got it. Cool. Okay, great. So in the chat, I put the link to the Zoom meeting for the GSOC office hours. And there no, is a... I'm not, okay, I'm not what talking is it? about the uh, weekly uh, office hours of Thursday. Uh, I meant to say the one we will have for this uh, project specific meeting. Oh, okay. Um, Berviento said, did you, I think Berviento, I saw your uh, answer to the doodle. Uh, I should have seen your answer for the doodle to say, did you uh, see the doodle about the weekly meeting that we would have? No, I don't think so. Let me check for the office hours or something else. No, not office hours, our weekly meeting for this project, in fact. So this, this is also the very first one. We don't have to have the very same time slot each week. So that's why I proposed a uh, weekly meeting. Yes, there we go. Yeah. I'll put the we link in mm -hmm. the chat. Weekly meeting, weekly meeting, uh, the same time? Uh, no, it's the, there are several time slots proposed. And uh, you should choose one that suits your no, uh, agenda. I didn't get anything. Okay, so please click in the chat on the last link. Mm -hmm. So you can see the doodle and see uh -huh, how it looks uh -huh, like uh -huh. for you. Okay. Oh, I can see. So for you, Berviento, it was on Monday or Wednesday. Morning for me, whatever for you, I guess. I'll be free anytime. Yeah, so that is, thanks for entering the doodle.
So, Monday and Wednesday. Uh, yes, the, these are the two slots where yeah. Vivian Toe is available. Yeah, yeah. So, Monday. Okay, nine is good. Wednesday, yeah, Monday is good. Okay. Okay, all set. Cool. Thank you. So it looks like we'll see each other once again on Monday. I don't hope, I should that uh, you will have any progress to share on Monday because it will be the weekend, but we have to start something. Maybe that will be a very fast, quick uh, meeting where we will just exchange our feelings or whatever. Uh, so don't stress yourself too much this weekend to have something to show us on Monday. That's not mandatory, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, Ashutosh, could you please create, like you did the other day for this meeting, um, invitation on Google for okay, everyone? Yes, uh, for Monday. And uh, like you did the other time, you may be an administrator or something that I could change. Uh, yes, I'll make everybody. Yeah, thank you. Because that allowed me to change the Zoom meeting for uh, today. Uh, so I can then link it to the Jenkins uh, Zoom account so we have uh, on cloud recording and so on. So I'll do the same if you don't mind. So we have a Zoom meeting linked to the Jenkins account. Fine with you? I'll set it up for Monday. Cool. Uh, and I'll modify the link later on. Thank you. All set. Uh, so... Now you have the link, or you should have the link, or the time slot. So could you please share uh, with us once again your screen so we can see the document about the project? Oh, OK, you pasted it in the chat. Is it? Yes, I have also pasted it in the chat. Oh, OK, I didn't see that. It's, it's in raw format right now. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, but, uh... Okay, so don't hesitate to create the PR when you have time. You don't have to do it by Monday, okay? Uh, but whenever you can do it and we'll start from that later on um, now let me review the task we are supposed to have so we're still on the um, the bonding per period so you're not supposed to code right away you could or you can if you want to but we have some things to do before even coding i know how frustrating it is to just do administrative tasks and not coding but we have to do it, nonetheless. Uh, so regarding the um, communication, you created, um, no, you created, yes, a Slack workspace, but we got rid of this one. Then uh, we have something on the um, CDF, um, yes. Slack CDF, workspace. Yes. yes, but it's not super convenient to me. I don't know about the others, don't hesitate to say what you're thinking about it because we have to switch between different workspaces and sometimes i even don't see uh, that i have a message in the cdf workspace i have to go you know by myself to see if there is something uh which is not that convenient so we can of course keep it but i think that if you want um quick feedback uh we'd better go with um how is it called gitter yes. you know the, the gitter workspace I have created run and Alexander Brandes has uh, made it part of the Jenkins workspace. So you should be able to join it. Um, so are you part of that? So Ashutosh, you're part of that. 
But uh, uh, for there, there is a problem with my Gitter account right now. While merging oh. uh, Gitter and Matrix uh, uh, time, when they merge together now, my account, uh, I can only open it, my account on my computer right now. It's not linked to my email. So I'll have to create a new one. Oh, bummer. I'll create a new one today. Okay. Uh, for reference, here is a link to the, um, how is it called? Uh, channel, workspace, whatever. I'm, I'm not a specialist of. Okay. Uh, so this is the one where we'll discuss all together. Uh, so let me add that in the meeting notes. Okay, um, now let me check on community.jenkins.io. I told you earlier about a post where we'll uh, uh, put it's the updates. Blocked. Yeah. Uh, post. Yeah, there is. Uh, no, not a blog post, sorry. Um, community post. So when this uh, meeting will be finished and uh, I'll get the recording, I'll put it on this post to say, and maybe with a summary of what we discussed together today. So anybody interested in the project could know that we are progressing <laughs> some way. Okay. Uh, next, um, what should we do? So Ashutosh, you know Git, of course. Um, yes. The communication channels, is it clear for everyone? So we have Slack, but not the preferred one, Gitter. And of course we can discuss by email, but it's better as it's open source, open and so on. If everyone can have access to it, so it's better if we are using a public channel like the Gitter one, Gitter. if you don't mind, yeah, cool. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Do you have um working environment with Docker and so on, Ashutosh? What do you mean by working environment? Uh, do you have a working computer uh, with Docker installed with an IDE? Yes, yes, yes. I have all the setup ready. Okay. I have worked with Docker. Great. Um, now, the thing is, the part of the project is modifying the existing documentation by supplying some examples. But I think the first step would be to have some working examples before writing any documentation about that. So how do you plan on organizing that? Uh, I have uh, already created one in pro for proposals. I uh, plan to create uh, similar Docker Compose files for, for uh, other parts of the website. Uh, there are like three parts I have. Uh, three, three other parts that needs uh, Docker Compose files. Okay, okay. But regarding uh, the organization, um, I meant, what about um, GitHub repos, for example? Would oh, you yes, create yes. an organization with all of us inside it or a personal repo where we would have access in a way or another how do you plan on doing things so that we can all participate review and so on i was thinking if we can uh, create a sub uh, sub repo in jenkins or something like that or should i create my personal one that uh, i invite you guys yeah i think we should maybe start with a personal repo and then we would see if we try to attach it to the jenkins uh, organization but that could prove difficult because we would have to discuss on the jenkins mailing list and so on because people maybe won't be won't accept um project in such an early stage in the jenkins organization so i, I guess you should have one then 
Uh, okay, private is not the right thing, I guess. We should make it public. Because, <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I meant public. Okay, meant public. that's better. Okay, so let me put a few things. I I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, uh, folks, by the way. Uh, so I will just take a few notes and if you have something to say or or ask, uh, go ahead. I'm too talkative. Sorry. Go ahead. I'll write down some notes in the document. I was thinking uh, if I should uh, create a blog or something. Uh, I attended Google uh, Summit uh, uh, Summit uh, yes uh, day after yesterday, day before yesterday, and they emphasized to document your uh, journey while uh, blogging about it. So. Uh, blogging blog? is always a good idea, but um, uh, does it have anything to do with Jenkins for the timing? Just to know where to put the blog post, what what you would it's, like to write about? Uh, it's like a daily reminder of how much I have uh, completed my work every day, so everyone in community can see that I'm completing the work. So I suggest to do something else: create a uh, repository in your github account and create a multiple directories by uh, your uh, dates for example day one day two day three day four and uh, etc and inside day one add your documents in addition to your code and all the things and then we can review all the things together and uh, after completing the project we can merge all of the uh, all of them together and then uh migrate uh the uh, repository to jenkins io uh main uh, organization and writing a quick review uh blog post to uh mention the main repo okay that sounds like a good idea I, I... what do you think bruno yeah that's a good idea if you want to uh write uh, all the days you work on the project and write your experience, your uh, everything you do in, in, inside the project, you can create a multiple project by the days. Okay. Okay. Um, we still have some time. Yes. Ashutosh, could you please share us uh, your initial proposal so we can see how to plan for the coming weeks? Yes. We're not supposed to begin coding, as I said beforehand. But if you need to make some refinements, change some things, uh, that's a moment. I posted the link on the chat. But you can share your screen also if you don't mind. So we can all see the same thing at the same time. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so I see a little bit later in the document uh, that you want to start with a simple Docker Compose file. Uh, I think we could go this way. So we just... No, no blue ocean as you proposed in your first uh, iteration. Just... I sent something in the chat two links oh. about uh, the 
uh, project of working on two years ago on Jenkins mm -hmm. that uh, consists of a complete Jenkins stack. Uh, Ashtush can work on that or uh, other can work on that to come make it uh, more uh, complicated and add some features, add some uh, new things uh, like the JCASC and something else because uh, we already have uh, all the things in that repo and the uh, Jenkins user used uh, this repository as a main uh, repository to deploy Jenkins stack. In addition to Jenkins, it, it deploys uh, all the uh, components they may need uh, in implementing the CI CD pipelines. And you can use it and uh, change it or uh, separate it into the uh, multiple things that if the uh, user need to just deploy the Jenkins, uh, you can uh, separate uh, the compose file to just deploy the uh, Jenkins. If they want to deploy something else in addition to Jenkins, for example, Docker in Docker model to uh, be able to build image inside the Jenkins without touching anything on the main uh, Docker engine. You can use uh, these repositories uh, as a reference to uh, find a big picture about uh, the S stack that's already some companies uh, working on that. Okay, thank you for the link, Said. The only downside I see with that uh, is that it's already fairly complicated. And the very first step is to have something as simple as possible. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but afterward, with the, as simple as possible we work of course this is a very good uh, resource to start with uh, yes thank you for your work and for proposing it yeah that's for sure but the very first step if you don't mind Ashtosh, as we said um during the proposal session is to start as small as possible as simple as possible because the existing documentation is already too complicated for the basic user who has never ever done Docker or Jenkins or the combination of the two, uh, because you have to write a Docker file and so on. So first example, as simple as possible. Then we have lots of super cool ideas in uh, say it's uh, two repos. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say Maybe in a few weeks from now. Um, cool. Yeah, for, for, to start, you can start in the uh, proposal, or we can see uh, the, the, uh, a small Docker Compose to bring up the uh, Jenkins and uh, do something. It could be uh, the starting, and uh, it can be more uh, simple. Because inside the Docker Compose, you can see you uh, connect the Jenkins into uh, Docker to do something. You can avoid uh, using that for the uh, main step. In the main step, for example, some users need to deploy just the Jenkins and uh, get the experience about how Jenkins deployed into the containers. And after that, for the second step, we can see that, okay, if you want uh, to have a Docker inside the Jenkins environment, you can use this Docker Compose if you want to uh, if you need something else, use this Docker Compose, another Docker Compose, and all the Docker Compose that uh, make a complicated environment and complex environment to bring up everything they want. Yep. We can go as far as time will allow. Uh, we'll, yeah. We'll see that. Because yeah. uh, we, we have to uh, supply some working Docker Compose file, that's the first step, but then we have to write the documentation. And then we have to imagine something that would allow Jenkins.io to regenerate and to test uh, the Docker Compose files every nice. day, every week, every once in a while. So we know mm -hmm. it's still working. In a night release, we can create a pipeline to test it in a night release. Yep, that's for sure. But this part sh maybe will be difficult because we have to discuss with the people from the infra yeah. team. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. But what I'd like, tell me, I I'm not the one who decides, Ashutosh, by the way, it's your project. Uh, tell me if I'm too authoritative. Uh, but for me, the idea would be to have first 
the simplest Docker Compose file that does work, then a documentation that goes with it that explains how to use it and why it's working that way. And then the next step would be to integrate that with the Jenkins IO workflow. So it, you know, we have to start the discussion early with the infra team so we can have a setup that works for infra team and for us. And then we could um, work on more complex examples, maybe starting from SAID uh, to repos, for example. What do you think of that, Ashutosh? Yes, I also think uh, simpler examples for first is better. Okay, Bevianzo? Uh, we start from the simple one, and we start uh, earlier for communicate with uh, infra team. Cool. Uh, I hope that will work because that's uh, the idea I had. <laughs> Let's hope it will work. I have some good contacts with people from the infra team, so it could work. Uh, I think uh, the communication part should be kind of easy, but then the implementation, we'll see if that's easy or not. So I'll write it down in the uh, meeting notes. So next step would be to write documentation. to get it integrated in the Jenkins IO website. And uh, for the second step, I guess we would have to discuss with the documentation sing single interest group, you know, DocSig, uh, which happens on Thursday night for me. So you don't have to go. Uh, I will go, but you're welcome to attend to DocSig, but I guess we would have to discuss with the documentation SIG about where uh, we could add our documentation because we don't want to break everything existing regarding Docker, but we have to insert it in a smart way. So, right, go ahead. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we should discuss with the dog, dog sig about where and how to add the documentation. Cool. Uh, last step would be to discuss with the infra team about the workflow slash process to uh, regularly test our Docker Compose files. Nice. Uh, so, Ashutosh, what do you think about that? Well, about what? Documentation part? No, the, 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 the small steps of the first step, so the first three steps. Um, are you okay with that? You know, starting with a very simple example, as small as possible, and then uh, this, uh, trying to write some documentation. And on my side, I will start to discuss with people from the doc sig and from the infra team yes uh, by the... seems okay. like a good idea um, i could put the link to and the the, the time slot for um, the documentation sig there is one which is linked to asia uh, there is the asia uh, documentation sig which is super early in the morning for me like 4 a.m but that's maybe something uh, that you could attend if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, uh, Ashutosh. And okay. there is another one Thanks. on Thursday night for me, about 7 p.m. for me. Uh, it's the US and EMEA uh, doc office hours, uh, doc SIG platform, sorry. So I'll attend this one. Uh, don't feel like you have to, but you could, if ever you want to address the subjects of the documentation for the Docker uh, quick bait, uh, quick daughter, you got it for our GSOC yeah, project. And then for the infra discussion, I started by myself, but there is also a public meeting for the infra team, which happens to be on the third day, uh, 4 p.m. my time. So about the same time we started the meeting today. So pretty late for you, Ashutosh. Oh, it's fine. I, I'm free for summer vacation, so I can manage. 
Okay, uh, but I'll put the links to those meetings in the document. If any of you want to attend uh, to get his voice heard, feel free to join. Uh, I'm still talking too much. Uh, <laughs> does anyone has anything to, to add, a comment, a question, remark? Okay, uh, I may have been crystal clear or <laughs> intimidating, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so if you don't have any questions, I propose that we wrap it up. I'll clean up the notes and I'll post the video of this meeting on the Community Jenkins IO uh, post. And we should see, see each other next Monday without many news to share because we'll be on the weekend. I yeah. don't expect anything to progress. Fine for you? Fine. Right, so Monday, yes. Cool. So no regret, no question? Uh, I, uh, I was wondering about uh, the thing that Chris mentioned about communicating with uh, everyone on our team with uh, emails. Oh, um, uh, I didn't see. It was an email? No, he, he proposed that we, uh, the part, uh, contributors are not um, communicating enough with the community and they should engage more with community. So he proposed something with email. I don't remember correctly. I haven't read that. Bervianto, Said, did you see something like that? Or if you have no. a mail, uh, Ashutosh, you could uh, share your screen so we can see it. Uh, I'll search in my no. mail quickly. No, it was not on the mail. He mentioned it during the meeting. Chris uh, oh. proposed an idea. So yesterday? Yes, Chris, uh, Chris proposed uh, to communicate with uh, everyone on the uh, Jenkins community with email, I think. So on the Jenkins mailing list? Yes, yes. That's, yeah, Jenkins mailing list. Okay, but it's not that active, in fact, where I see most activity is on Gitter, and then on community Jenkins.io with the Jenkins mailing links, I don't get that many emails per day, so it's not that active. But why not? I don't say it's a bad idea, not at all. It's just that I'm surprised. So. Communicate via this uh, Jenkins mailing list. Why not? But about what? I don't remember correctly, but Chris mentioned something about this. So I was just wondering. My bad. I was there. I was at the meeting, but I can't remember <laughs> anything. Ah. Uh, okay. If you ever remember what he said, what he proposed, uh, just let us know and we'll see what we can do. But apart from that, I don't know. I'll see. Uh, I, on the yeah, I, I, I just remember something that is said. Uh, we have to make all the contribution and communication through the public channels, but yeah. uh, I, I can't remember anything about the email or mailing list. That's maybe because he told so. He told us so yesterday at um, uh, GSOC office hours. Office hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, I didn't see you there, Bevianto, no, neither. No, but I, I no, was I, there, I, but I just can't remember what he mm -hmm. said. So, mm -mm. okay. Ashutosh, if you ever remember, or maybe ask publicly on Gitter to Chris in the Jenkins channel or Jenkins GSOC channel uh, what he meant, maybe, you know, if he gave us an I, explanation. I I'll check on okay. the recording of the uh, yesterday's session. Why not? Good idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, good for me. So if you don't mind, we'll wrap it up and see each I other. Was, uh, Go ahead. I also I also wanted to ask about that blog on Jenkins.io. Mm -hmm. Yes, I uh, I've read Hush and uh, one that's blog and. Should I, should I create a big or a small one? Like high size is small and one that's like a little bigger. Well, uh, if I remember well, um, 
the document is a living document you know it's a blog post but that will evolve so you don't have to make it big for the time being uh it doesn't need to be big per se uh just put the information you have for the time being and we'll make it evolve later on vandit has gone farther than us for the time being they already have done three meetings or so and he has started working on the project really coding it on so that's that doesn't surprise me that his blog post is bigger than yours so no just go ahead put the information you have and we'll make a review um the community will make a review not only the mentors but the rest of the community so go ahead and we'll see if that's not enough um jean-marc for example will let us know so that's not a problem go ahead start small but start fast and we'll see what we can do okay. anything else no, nothing, nothing else. Cool. So thank you, folks. I'll uh, see you on the other side of the weekend. And mm -hmm. until so there. So just, yeah, just, uh, Ashish, uh, please uh, set the calendar and send the links. I'll and I'll modify the link with a Jenkins Zoom account just when I receive the email. Okay. Good. Uh, fine. So I modify the document and uh, keep you posted. Good. Bye, folks. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Take care. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.